Two of our um, longest running programs are one, the mammography van, which is our flagship program. And the mammography van is where we bring our um, big van and a park it at a community health center, mostly, and women come on the van to get a mammography. Right on the van, we have state-of-the-art technology on that van. The Blum van, today we use it primarily for our sun safety education skin cancer screening program, where in that van, we go into uh, beaches primarily, and we have a dermatologist inside the van who does a full body scan, looking for uh, areas of concern, uh, for patients. Some of the responses that we get from, from the community are really heartwarming, letting us know that our work mattered because we saved their lives. I had someone say to me, if you could build a program and you had all the money to build a program, what would you build? And so I thought about it a little bit. And I literally called all the different cancer centers and asked them, what is their community engagement? Nobody was really thinking about how you're engaging your community to bring new diagnoses for vulnerable and marginalized communities in. And then I said, well, I would build that around the nurse navigator. Which is this idea of identifying these patients who would otherwise fall through the cracks so that we can um, intervene and help them come into Dana-Farber with a warm welcome and supports throughout the cancer course. It's that simple. But what is unique and important about it is this idea of um, preemptive connection with the patient. And um, over the course of, of a short period of time, we hope to be in every disease center here at the Institute. What we're talking about doing now with our community-facing navigators is the social determinants of health, who's gonna sit in a visit with the patient, who's gonna answer questions for the patient, who will then connect with our nursing and patient services groups and you know, our resource groups and our social workers and make sure that the person gets to utilize all this incredible array of services that we have here at the Dana-Farber. One of the social determinants of health is sort of economic opportunity and education. And so that's what our work in workforce development is all about. We have high school students and college students that are in our research labs. We have pharmacy techs that um, are being trained you know, through JVS and then come and are placed in internships in the pharmacy department. And many have ultimately been hired. We are evolving and hopefully growing more pipeline programs to serve um, our Dana-Farber community. We recognize the importance of community engagement activities, working with churches and other community partners to ensure that the information around cancer education is in fact in the hands of those who need it. We also know that training the next generation is really important. And so having programs such as Cure and Spark allow us to provide hands-on experiences to students who see themselves and who can envision themselves in the space of being being a scientist. We've developed a partnership with UMass Boston, uh, which is the most diverse campus of the UMass system. We are working to increase our nurse residency program that we uh, instituted in 2016 and expand it to offer scholarships and a year of very specialized training for new graduate nurses in oncology so that at the end of that year of protected time and learning and extra clinical training, they're able to practice in our environment and will be able to meet the not just the clinical needs of our patients, but also their cultural needs and linguistic needs. I think with the COVID pandemic really showed us was we weren't seeing enough patients of color, we didn't have enough faculty of color, or staff, so we have committed $50 million of philanthropy over the next five years to try to fix that. I think the more people that we are able to bring in that you know are diverse and reflect what our community looks like, the more that we have sort of agents of change out there in the community spreading the good word about Dana-Farber and the opportunities that exist, whether it's employment opportunities or whether it's opportunities to receive one's care here.